I'm Abby at Wilson's Garden Center. It is the first week of October, so we are getting close to the average first fall frost. Um, so we have a lot of things still going on in the raised bed here. But we are going to pull out a few things that are, for the most part, done. And um, then as it gets close to, as the colder weather is coming, you can extend the harvest by tossing a sheet out here if the frost is coming. Um, because there are some things like the cabbages here and broccoli. We have collards and kale still that are producing. And those will keep going for a good while if you just keep them covered during any frost. Um, but a lot of these things are just going to be done now. Like the pepper here, mariachi pepper, is peppers like the warm weather. So it's ready to come out. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot more at this point. So, the things like that you can pull out now. Um, and by the time you've pulled everything out of here, you can also pull these up. And these just collapse and they'll be ready for next spring. And over the summer, the whole level of the bed has settled some. So in the spring, we'll be able to add more soil and bumper crop, which is an organic soil amendment, to build that back up and get it ready for the next growing season. So this is just a process. You can kind of keep gradually cleaning it up as the cooler weather is coming. Um, right here we have the Brussels sprouts, which three weeks ago we topped off so that it would help all these mature along the top. So they are ready now, and I've, I've pulled all the leaves off just this morning. Um, and you can just snap these off and peel off any of those outside leaves that aren't as good and cut that back and it's ready to boil. Um, we already picked a lot of collards, a few more cherry tomatoes, um, some eggplant, and kale. Um, over here, Swiss chard is still doing well. That really likes the cool weather. The okra, we can, we're going to pull that out because it's done. Um, same thing with the eggplant. They both like warmer weather. Basil likes warm weather. So we'll pull this out. There are a lot of leaves on here that would still be good to use, though, the ones on the end. But you can tell where it's getting the leaves are discolored here. That's just because of the cold weather. They don't like it. All right, so... The Kentucky Blue Pole Bean did really well. Climbed up here and was very busy all summer. I'm just going to cut these off at the base. There's some leaves down there. Yeah, we still have something to eat here. And this, there's a little tiny cucumber. Cucumbers didn't do very well today, this year. Yeah, it's, it, because of it being cool, there's not really any point in keeping the cucumber here because it's not going to do a whole lot anymore. <laughs> We're going to pull out the spinach here because it is struggling along. This doesn't look healthy or like it's going to do much, so we'll just clean that out. We can get rid of the nasturtiums. They still look healthy, but not really blooming much anymore, so it can come out. And you can use all that, put it on your salad. It has a spicy, peppery flavor. So. They're great for that if you want to keep any of it. Ha! <laughs> Whoa! It's curled up around itself. <laughs> I don't think that's a carrot. That is so funny. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see. It looks like there's one over here that should be ready. Oh, that's beautiful. Textbook carrot. One more in the corner that looks big. And carrots like cool weather, so... Oh my. Good one. I'm going to make a stew right there. These can keep going and depending on what the weather does, we might get some nice carrots still from them. And another way that people will extend the season with these raised beds is to attach PVC pipes along the side of the bed and then get the next size smaller of PVC that will fit inside those tubes and bend that and basically make a greenhouse over their raised bed so they can 
keep using this for a good while longer in the fall and then also start a lot earlier in the spring that way. This variety, barbecue, is not going to be hardy in this zone. So it wouldn't come back. Some of the varieties like Hill Hardy and Arp have a good chance of surviving depending on how harsh the winter is. But this one, not going to make it. So you can either dry all this and use it or you can you could repot this and keep using it throughout the winter and plant it again in the spring. We are going to go ahead and pull out our plastic grid here and it would be a good idea to hose that off and get it cleaned up and just stored away for next spring. And they were just held down by these little metal stakes here, so we just pulled those out. I'm harvesting some oregano here. It is a perennial, so it should survive and come back in the spring. But you can just hang these in a cool, dry place, out of direct sun, and let them dry. You can lay them out on paper towels and let them dry that way, and then just kind of strip them off the stems and crumble them, and store them in an airtight container, and use them to make your spaghetti sauce and all kinds of wonderful things. And that's it for the raised bed and the straw bale gardens for 2015. Everything went really well and we had, it's been a really fun project and have harvested tons of this. So there's a lot you can do and I hope that these videos have helped everybody out and will um, be an inspiration for more gardening next year.